Wilson. I'm back again today with another episode for you. And the card today is a little bit different than what I usually do, but this is what I call a petticoat card. You've got layers of your different um, borders there forming a really pretty elegant like frilliness to it, almost Moulin Rouge. I'll show you how we've done that. And then I've got a different treatment for the center of my bow. I'm really looking forward to showing that to you also. So the die set that we're using is the border corner and tag from the fringe collection. And that's what we'll use to do our petticoat with. And the center of the bow, we're using the dazzler settings. And I'm gonna use some gilding flakes in there to make a really interesting look for it. So I've gone ahead and done most of my cutting ahead of time, but I'm gonna do a little bit of gilding. So what I've done is I've covered a piece of card and it doesn't actually matter what color it is because it's not going to show, but I've covered it with a sticky adhesive sheet. Okay, I'm gonna put it onto a piece of copy paper. And for today's card, I'm using the Creative Expression Mold Wine Gilding Flakes. These are really lovely colors, lots of golds and purples and whatnot. So I'm just going to sprinkle them all around here and we are going to gild this entire piece. That should work. Using a piece of Rub It Scrub It, I'm just going to move them around, covering up all of that sticky adhesive. And you can see how the different pieces of the gilding flake adhere to this, creating some beautiful color patterns. Just keep moving it around in kind of a circular motion and it'll stick right on there. And even the smallest little particles of the gilding flake will stick, stick beautifully too. There we go. Oh, what I love, absolutely love about gilding flakes, especially when you do a large background like this, is you get these really gorgeous big patches of color and then you've got some smaller pieces that blend in and just give such different textures to the way it looks. Let me just do a little more refining here. I'll take off the excess flake and I'll show it to you. It's so pretty. So this can all be put back into your gilding plate um, container. Careful. It's very, very lightweight and fly away. So you have to be a little gentle with it. Pop that to the side. So you can see just how gorgeous that is. I mean, look at all the color in there. I love this one. I think it's so, so pretty. So now I've gone ahead and done one ahead of time because I wanted to add some mounting uh, foam to the back. And I'm using some of the soft gold card and I've stamped the sentiment, which is gonna go right into the channel between the two. So I've cut this piece in half, or actually in maybe three quarter, one quarter, just to create that little channel. So I've got two pieces here. I've got the larger one with the um, mounting foam on the back. And I'll tell you what we're gonna do first. We're going to add in our borders to it because I'll need to trim the edges of that. So just a little bit of the Cosmic Shimmer glue across the top of that. And let's see, I need it to go like that. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of an edge there and see if we can get it mounted right about center. And then we're gonna do three of these across. In fact, I probably should have started from the bottom up. Move that up out of the way. I'm gonna tuck that under a little bit. And then we'll do the last one here and then we'll trim all the edges off. Just tip it right under there a little bit. Get them all lined up. There you go. And I like to actually give them a little bit of dimension. So once they get on there glued nice in, in place, you can just tip the edges up to give it that more of that petticoat feel. So I'm gonna use um, some scissors here and just trim along the edge using the card as the edge of my die cut. You can also even put it into a paper cutter and do it if you prefer that. Turn those off and then give it a little bit more forming. Just love the way the black looks against that gold. It's so dynamic. So I'm going to go and put this into place with my mounting foam. And we'll put this at the top. And I'm going to lean in just a little bit here so I can see that I'm straight. I've already stamped my sentiment right in the middle there. 
And here's the bottom piece, which I've added the border onto already. So you needed four total to do this card. Put that into place right about there. Really, really pretty. And I've done um, a matting and layering piece with some piercing. I've added in a little piece of black as an accent. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that on, make that the background to my card. Center that around the, in the middle of the piercing dots there. Okay, so I have a really pretty card base going. I'm going to add a little extra feature with the, um, the bow and whatnot, but let me show you what I've gone ahead and done. So I use the Dazzler setting, which has got a little recessed area to put a Dazzler in, but I thought, hmm, I want to do something different. So what I've done is I've played around with my gilding flakes and some glossy accents. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit in here, get it started. So I have something that will hold my gilding flakes into place. And then we're going to pick some of these up and try and get a little bit of the different colors and whatnot. And we're going to start mixing them in. And I just use a little pokey tool, kind of mix them around. And you have to keep adding a little bit more at a time and a little bit more of your glossy accents. And kind of, it's like a recipe. You kind of, kind of mix it like you're baking cookies almost. And pick that up. And just keep tapping it into place and kind of getting those gilding flakes wet, basically, with the uh, glossy accents. Okay. A little bit more. Mix it around. You want to be sure and fill the entire bezel up too. So let's see, get that off of there. Okay, a little bit more of your glossy accents. Kind of layer it actually. There we go. Add a few more of these in there. Different colors. And I've noticed when I've done this with the different gilding flakes, they don't always dry with exactly the same colors in them. So you just have to kind of do a little bit of an experiment and see what you come up with. It's, it's kind of fun, I have to admit. Oop, that's too big. Let's get little pieces here. So you're going to work it around and just make sure it's nice and full. There you go. Get all your little bits in there. And when you get it all around the edge, you want to make sure it's all just tapped into place. Okay. Take all your excess off and put a last coat of your glossy accents over the top. And that will do it like a sealing job on it. Make sure it stays nice and put. Okay, so this you're going to have to set aside to dry. Make sure there's no bubbles in there either. So if you do get a bubble, I think there's a little bubble right there. Just want to take a pokey tool and pop it so it doesn't dry with a big bubble in it. Okay, so it's going to look about like that. Set this aside to dry. And then when it's all dry, you have one that's filled in with some gorgeous detail. And you get that mixture of the gilding flakes and the glossy accents giving you a really lovely texture to it too. And you could even, if you liked, go over this because it will settle as it um, dries. You could go over this and add a second coat in too. So just however you like it. Okay, so I've tied a double bow from the Champagne Colored Silky Crush and I'm going to go ahead and put this into place. I'm going to use a glue dot. And we'll just seat that right off to the side here. I've got a tiny bit of black jute because that adds some interest to your bows. I love the way this looks when you can mix and match some of your really pretty ribbons with some of the jute. It gives a nice textural look. Pop that on top. And the one that I've done earlier, it's good and dry now, so we will use that in the center of our bow. I'm just going to use a glue dot. That'll hold it. Pop that into place right there. And I've made a couple of really pretty fancy stick pins using the same glo glossy accents with some beads. And I'm going to put the tips of those sharp parts into that knot and finish that off. And there you have it, a really gorgeous, very elegant looking 
petticoat card, and I'm sure that that would amaze the recipient when they see how pretty that is. Thank you.